So it turns out that Google actually has even more planets that we can look at on, this one's actually on Google Maps. So you can see we have a ton of options over here now. We're gonna look at some more planets on Google and then compare them to what they look like on Space Engine. So I think today we're gonna go with Mercury, Venus, and maybe some of Jupiter's moons. I don't know, let's get into it. We're gonna start with Mercury. So here's Mercury on Google. Technically it's Google Maps, not Google Earth. And oh wow, you can see how many locations they have named. I didn't even know. It looks like they name them after a lot of famous people. Like Mozart is here, Shakespeare right here. So that is cool how they name them. And I wonder how good is the detail? I bet it's better in some spots than other spots. So we can get pretty close. Can we do 3D? A little bit. So this is what Mercury looks like from space. It does look pretty decent. Honestly, I'm impressed. It looks better than the Google Mars did for sure. And you can see like the poles are still gonna be a little bit messed up just from the stretching, like the North and South Pole. It won't even let me go down there. It's restricted. And you can see how cratered Mercury is. So I wanna try to find the spot with the highest definition photos. This looks decent. This is what I was more expecting from Google Earth Pro. It uses a far away image in space, and then when you get closer, it starts to use the higher quality images. I'm actually really impressed with how this is working. This is definitely a lot better. This is a better way to experience these planets. I would say this is a very good way to see it if you don't have Space Engine and you just wanna look at the planets. I would definitely recommend doing it through Google Maps. Okay, so this is like what the close up detail looks like on Mercury in Google. And then we're gonna go over to Space Engine Mercury now, and we're gonna compare how good it looks compared to this. So let's go. All right, here's Mercury on Space Engine. So already Space Engine really excels at making things look realistic. Like from this view, you could say that's a real picture of Mercury and it's believable. And obviously you're not gonna get all those labels of where things are because it's more like you're actually there instead of just showing you a model of Mercury. And the ability to actually go land and see the depth of the craters is something else too. This detail, see once you get close, it kind of just blurs out and then gives you a rough estimate of how that's gonna look on the surface. You can see it does give you like rocks though. It almost looks like the moon's surface. But from out here, it does look awesome. Uh, let's have it spin around and let's see both sides of it. Beautiful. The Like the shadows on the craters and everything just looks so good in Space Engine. But like out here, look at that. That is awesome. So that's what Mercury looks like in Space Engine. And even the poles too. They're stretched once you get up close, but from back here, you can't even tell. Wow, even the South Pole too. All these craters are fully 3D too. They have depth. You can see this is a pretty big crater, but you've got the mountains and stuff all around it. Wow. Okay, so there is Mercury on Space Engine. Now we're gonna go look at Venus in Google Earth. Let's go. Here's Venus on Google, and it looks like they don't load the clouds on it because you can see on the left side, there's this cloud icon but you wouldn't be able to see any of the surface with that. You can see this one also has a ton of location names. I'm surprised, like, how do you even tell the difference between all the locations? All of them, like you zoom in and see even more. These Are these all names too? I think they are. Okay, what kind of detail can we get on here? These like craters, they look pretty good actually. I mean, once you get super, super close, it's not gonna be great. But just like from this level, that looks very good. I'm very impressed with how Google is handling these other planets. I bet Google Mars on Google Maps is gonna look better than it did on Google Earth Pro. These darker areas, I wanna like go into one of these darker areas when we go to Space Engine and see what it can load. Uh, going down here, that is so cool. That's actually really cool to see these like mountains. Wow. Oh, I wonder what this is. Why are, why are these lower quality? Wow, Venus is actually a very cool planet. We just don't talk about it a lot or see it a lot because we're always talking about Mars, I feel like. I mean, Mars, you can actually see what the surface looks like um, from space. On Venus, you can't. I don't even know how they got these pictures. They must have done like some scanning underneath the clouds. It's got some craters and stuff too. I'm surprised Earth like has almost no craters compared to these planets. Even though Venus's atmosphere is even thicker. I mean, we have some craters, but that is pretty cool. So I'm actually really excited to see how this one compares in Space Engine. So we're gonna go over to Space Engine really quick. Let's go. All right, so here is Venus. So actually Venus is gonna look like this, just 
from space, that's what you would see. But if you turn off the clouds like they do on Google Earth, you can actually see the surface. So this is what the surface looks like. Wow. Again, it looks more realistic. So, and you can also kind of like go and even, so it's like sandy, it looks like. So the mountains aren't gonna be as like high definition as they would be on a procedural planet, but still you can go through its mountain ranges and valleys, fly around through them, see a sunset on Venus. So we're kind of towards the North Pole, so we might actually not get a sunset or we'll get a very brief sunset. Wow, turns blue. That's what a sunset looks like on Venus. That's cool. So we can watch it rotate and see both sides of it. It's a beautiful planet, honestly. I think it's underrated. There is a lot of detail that I feel like is here on Space Engine that wasn't there on Google Earth. The yellow sky, all of these like ridges that you can actually go stand on. Wow, it is so cool to me. There's Venus in Space Engine. So now we're gonna go look at some of Jupiter's moons in Google Earth. Let's go. Oh, wow. This is Europa in Google. You can just see the detail. It actually does have a decent amount of detail. Some parts are gonna have more. Like this area seems to have more. That is so cool. The different lines on the surface. Wow. I am still surprised so many places on these celestial objects have names. Who goes and names them? Because I want to name a part. We need to like have a chip crater on one of these when they get discovered. <laughs> wow. So obviously some parts are not going to have as much detail, especially on these further out ones, because I would say the further away it is from the sun, the less pictures we have of it. But wow, you can see the pic the places they have taken high quality pictures of. Wow. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly go through the four main moons of Jupiter. So here's Ganymede. This is what it looks like on here. Now let's go look at it on Space Engine. Here is Europa on Space Engine. Another thing that I like about Space Engine, you can see Jupiter in the background. That's something you can't see on Google. And wow. So these like ridges that we saw on Google Earth, they're actually physical things that you can go see when you're on Space Engine. So like from space, you see it like that. And then when you come land on it, here it is. That's that ridge. Wow. And like all of these too. They're actually here. It's so cool. Let's check out around it. So obviously, yeah, you're going to get some of this blurry effect just because we've never seen that part of the moon. Like no one ever has. So we don't have any good pictures of it. I feel like, so yeah, this is the side that we haven't seen very much of, so it's not going to be as high of quality when you get closer like that. And then there's the side that we have seen a lot of all of this stuff here, where we do get some pretty good quality stuff. And the also the ability to land on these moons and look up in the sky at Jupiter is very cool. Like here's your night sky from Europa. And there's Jupiter, giant in the sky. That is so cool. Okay, so uh, let's go back to Google Earth. And here's Ganymede on Google Earth. Wow. This one's a little bit lower quality. Oh, actually, if you zoom in, that's decent. Out here, it's not very good. But like this level, pretty good quality, actually. The beautiful colors on Ganymede. And this area seems to have a higher quality picture of it. Wow. Okay, and then we'll go look at it on Space Engine. All right, and here's Ganymede in Space Engine. Wow, so let's turn on the realistic lighting again. So in the realistic lighting, we only see what we would actually see. So you can see there's actually like light reflecting off Jupiter and coming back and landing on Ganymede right there. Cause you can see this part is kind of lit, but it's not nearly as bright as the sun. Anyway, the colors, let's check this out. Like what does the ground actually look like here? What's it made out of? Looks like a desert is what it's gonna load. We got our black sky because there's no atmosphere. Let's check out everything down here. So again, we have like the lower quality spots and the higher quality spots, just like we had on Google Earth. But I still think that from space, the view is definitely superior on Space Engine. Let's check out these poles too. This white area, what is it looking like up here? So you can still kind of fly through these different mountain ranges and craters, which I don't think you can do with any other program. Okay, let's go back to 
Google Earth. And then here's Callisto in Google. See how well this quality will load in. Decent, that's pretty good. Especially for these objects that are so far away from us. This out here, the detail is not super great. Valhalla is an area of it. These, these ones don't have as many names as like Venus and Mercury did. It's still pretty good though. They have a lot of places named. There's some places where I guess they don't have any pictures. So they just like stretch one picture really big. Wow, okay. And then we'll go to Space Engine on this one and see how it looks. And then here's Callisto on Space Engine, the most cratered object in our solar system. I actually think this one looks better on Google Earth. That might be a win for Google Earth. This has almost no detail. I swear this looked better than I remember. Maybe this is the bad side of it. Let's, let's rotate it around. No, it kind of looks like that everywhere. Wow, I'm kind of disappointed in this one. I mean, once we get really close, you can still see detail, but from far away, this one doesn't look that great. I think that's a, a, a win for Google Earth. Wow, interesting. Okay, yeah, so let's go back to Google Earth now. Okay, and here's Io. This is the last of the four main moons of Jupiter. This one, how does this one look up close? This one I think is definitely gonna look better in Space Engine. I have seen it before and it looks pretty good. Some areas are obviously gonna be better than others, but some areas are pretty bad. This I think is the worst of Jupiter's moons that they have on Google. The colors are popping pretty good though. And this one does have a lot of names on it. Prometheus, Seth Mons. So Mons means mountain. So anytime you see Mons, that means there's a mountain on the object. Um, but let's go to Space Engine and check it out. And yes, it does look pretty good from space, just like I thought it would. Wow. So I think we do need a lot higher resolution pictures of IO in real life so we can get some better rendering on here because this might be its bad side too i yeah i feel like this side's a little bit better let's go and check out our depth so we kind of can fly inside of this little valley here oh yeah i forgot io has volcanoes you're not going to be able to see these on google earth so you can actually see the volcanoes at night which is cool you can see them a little bit during the day too the volcanic activity so I guess that does make it a little bit better than what I was thinking about it earlier. All right, so there's a few more Space Engine and Google Earth planets and moons. If you guys wanna see more of this series, cause there's a few more objects we can check out, leave a like on the video so I know you like it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.